Okay, guys, welcome back. We are officially on week eight, lesson eight, and we are going to be talking about the rule of thirds. The fun thing about the rule of thirds is that it is a very simple way to add interest to your photo. If you divide your photo into thirds vertically and horizontally, you will see that there are four cross points. Those four cross points are going to be the perfect location to put your subject. This is going to allow the viewer's eye to land in that prominent part of the photo and then to linger through the rest of the photo to see what else is going on. Now is the time to start applying all the other lessons that we've gone through. You think about simplifying the background, use of line, perspective. All these things are going to help make your photo interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and break down our rule of thirds. If I bring up my crop tool, you can see it automatically breaks it down into the rule of thirds. You can see my cross points here because it's broken down horizontally in one, two, and three sections, and vertically in one, two, and three sections. So where all these cross points to come together, that's where you should place your main subject. Now you can see we have our subject right here on the left hand side of the photo. The space behind her is open and it gives context to the photo. It shows that we're in an open field. There's a pretty tree right here. This light portion will draw your eye through. This water tower will draw your eye through. You can see that the top one third is sky and the bottom two thirds is land. Now, if this were a portrait of just the water tower, maybe if you had a really pretty cloud formation, you would make the bottom one third land and the top two thirds sky. And that would just um, be more visually pleasing if you were fo focusing on something like an inanimate object. Our next photo here, now this one, I wanna show you how you can easily improve it. So let's click on the photo. You can see our couple here. They're further away, so this is an easy crop. I'm gonna take my corner and just drag it to where my cross point is on them. So I still have context. You see that they're in a field, you see that you have beautiful trees, and now they're at a cross point. Now the bottom one third is my foreground, my land, and the top two thirds are the trees in the background. Make that even more drastic by pulling it over this way. That looks beautiful. So let's crop. Perfect. Go ahead and take this a step further. Now you can see we have our couple at the cross points here and here, and they're taking up the left one third of the photo. And then you can see that we've actually added in the other elements that we've been talking about. So we have the fence line that disappears into the background. So you have line, you have the, the little halo that's coming across the tree here. You have the halo in her hair. You get the halo on the fence. So you get that nice soft light from the golden hours. You, we're using a shallow depth of field. So they're perfectly crisp sharp image and then it just gets blurry as it gets further and further away from the couple. So this light background down here and all these elements are just adding to the photo to make it more interesting and to make it more of a piece of art. So your assignment is to go out and shoot. Are you surprised? Before we want to make sure that when we're using our rule of thirds that we have an obvious focal point. We have our cow here. She is our obvious focal point. 
we have line coming from the road going this way. We have the line coming from the mountain this way. Our bottom two thirds is land and then the top one third is sky. And then we have a little peak of something else, the baby calf down here. So even though this is a really simple photo, there's still a lot going on and it tells a story. That's our goal when using the rule of thirds. You want to tell a story. All right, friends, get out there and shoot. Don't forget to find me on Instagram at capture.create.explore and use hashtag CCE workshop to show me your photos. Can't wait to see them. Thanks, friends. Thanks.